Hey, what's up everyone? Timothy Baca back here at the Hydro Bar to show you another quick test about the Kangen water. Now, if you're not familiar with pH or alkalinity, today is the day I'm gonna show you and explain to you the difference between bottled water, tap water, and Kangen water. How I like to do this is usually start by explaining the pH chart. Now, the pH chart ranges from one to 14. Seven is neutral, seven's in the middle. So anything below seven on this chart is gonna be acidic and can cause sickness to your body. Anything above seven is alkaline and is healthy for your body. Now, something I like to explain is that when we're born in the embiotic fluid of our mother's stomach, we're actually born in a fluid of 7.36 so we're born alkaline but as we come into the world we're exposed to processed food bottled water stress pollution things that make us more acidic and cause sickness or aging to the body so what I want to show you today is by using these pH drops right here whether a liquid is alkaline or acidic somebody that I'd like to introduce you guys to is dr. Otto Warburg he actually won a Nobel Peace Prize in 1930 for discovering the root cause of cancer, where he discovered that cancerous tissues are acidic, whereas healthy tissues are alkaline. Now, he has another quote that says, no disease, including cancer, can exist in an alkaline environment. If our body is made of over 70% water, is the water that we're drinking alkaline or acidic? Right here in my hand, I'm just gonna use these drops. I'm gonna put them into a couple of these different waters, and this is gonna show us whether a liquid, like I said, is healthy or causing sickness. As you can see, majority of bottled water, sodas, sports drinks, and even tap water are gonna fall under the neutral to acidic category, which means that they can be harmful and even aging to your body. So say you pick some Kangen water up fresh from a machine and you start drinking it. Not only are you gonna be able to hydrate, but you're gonna be able to cleanse out acids and toxins from your system. We're gonna go over to the tap water, bring that back to life. Now we're gonna try to see what happens when we drink Kangen after we've been drinking Sprite, or maybe even sports drink. And as you can see, because these beverages are so acidic, it's gonna take anywhere from 32 to 35 cups of the Kangen water just to neutralize one cup of soda or sports drink. So this is probably one of my favorite liquids to explain when I show the pH test because this can actually show you how acidic these are for your body and how it's gonna take more of the Kangen water to neutralize the acid from these beverages than normal. So watch this very closely. Did you see that? So this water wants to go alkaline, but because it's so acidic, it's gonna immediately go back to the acidic pH. The next one I want to get into is Essentia. Um, something that I really like to touch on with the store-bought alkaline waters is that majority of the time, they're just reverse osmosis water that they add stuff to to raise the pH to make it appear alkaline, but isn't truly alkaline. So as you look at the back of this bottle and you check out the ingredients, it says purified water by reverse osmosis, sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, dispotassium phosphate, magnesium sulfate, calcium chloride, and electrolytes for taste. So they're adding stuff to this, like I said, to raise the pH, to make it appear alkaline, but it's not necessarily what's making your body alkaline. It's the electrical charge in Kangen water that's actually able to make your body alkaline and flush out the acids and the toxins. And how I like to show that is by using a straw. When you expose oxygen to these liquids, it can actually evaporate the chemical and show you the true pH in the water. So what I'm gonna do is just blow some air into this water and it's gonna show us if this is real alkaline or not. So. And as you can see, this is gonna show an acidic pH. Now, Kangen water, I can take this water, and since it was made through electricity ionization, we're gonna actually
The Kangen water is gonna be able to hold that electrical charge no matter how much oxygen you put inside of it because it was processed a different way than your bottled waters, than your tap waters. So the last water that I actually wanna talk about is tap water, and this is different from city to city. This is Albuquerque tap water here in New Mexico, and what I wanna show you is the pH of this water. Now, if you look at this, once we put the drops inside of it, it's gonna show that it's a neutral to slightly alkaline pH. And why that is, is because there's tons of different chemicals that are added to the water to treat it. So there could be chemicals like chlorine, fluoride, arsenic, heavy metals that come off the pipes. They take a regular acidic water and they put a chemical in it called lye, which is the pH of 14. And that then brings it to a neutral state. Why they do that is because if the water running through our city pipes was acidic, we'd be getting rust water. It'd be rusting and corroding the pipes. So they have to add lye to the water to make sure that the water runs safely through the pipes and it doesn't rust them. Now, that makes me think that they're more worried about the safety of the pipes rather than the safety of the people consuming the water. Now, it's as quickly as you can put your body back into an alkaline state, just as quickly as you can throw it out. So say you've been on the water and say you've been doing good. You're thinking, hey, maybe I can drink a soda, a sports drinks, and you pick one of those up and you take a sip of it, it's gonna make you acidic again. Just a sip. Let's try this one right over here. Just a sip. And this is diluted, by the way. Let's try the sparkling water. This one's pretty interesting. Just go ahead and give that a second. And as you can see, yep, turns acidic. So alkalized water helps your body balance the proper pH level, which allows it to fight disease as it was designed to do. When we're able to put our body back into an alkaline state, we're gonna feel optimal, we're gonna feel healthy, we're gonna feel overall great. So if you guys have any more questions about pH, alkalinity, or even if you'd like to get your water tested yourself, come into one of our Hydrobar locations or get connected with us through hydrobar.io and we'd love to show you this live in person, explain to you more about the water, and even get you some to try. Thank you so much for checking this out.